Yeah, it's really around cost sharing groups and what constitutes a, um, a shared service for them because some things are, as you said, exempt if they're near education and others aren't. Can you explore that a bit more? There are some shared services which are so closely aligned to education that even if they were created as a separate legal entity with, mem with a membership structure, uh, reimbursement of exact costs, all of the things that a cost sharing group has to do to be considered to be a cost-sharing group by Revenue and Customs, actually, because they are so closely aligned to um, that uh, educa educationally exempt activities, that actually they don't have to charge VAT anyway. Example? Uh, an example would be something to do with student support services. Now, maybe there's something around that that you can structure to say, actually, these wouldn't attract VAT anyway because they are so closely aligned to, to education. So, so, so therefore, the, the things that, so taking it the other side, the things that um, would attract VAT are things that you would normally outsource, well, you wouldn't normally outsource, you could outsource, but actually are in the general melee of, uh, of commercial activities. Again, payroll and, and those catering. Yeah, and, yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's clear.